Terry has a friend named Fear. Terry and Fear have been friends for a very long time. Fear loved being friends with Terry because he always made Terry fearful of things. Terry knew that Fear was a bad influence. However, Terry didn't know exactly how to deal with Fear. When Terry decided to try out for his school basketball team, Fear said, Terry, you shouldn't try out for the basketball team because you're not going to make it. When Fear stayed the night over Terry's house, Fear said, Terry, there's something lurking in your closet. Terry became fearful and always slept with the covers pulled over his head and with his bedroom light on every night. Terry and Fear were in the same classroom. When it was time to take the spelling test, Fear said, Terry, you are going to make a bad grade because the words are hard to spell. Even though Terry had studied very hard for his spelling test, Terry did not take his spelling test because of what Fear told him. Mr. Johnson, Terry's teacher, sent a note home to Terry's parents. Terry's father was upset with Terry for not taking his spelling test. Terry, why didn't you take your spelling test, said Terry's father. Fear told me I would make a bad grade because the words were too hard to spell, said Terry. I want you to stay away from Fear, said Terry's father. He is a bad influence and he will stop you from making right decisions. The next day before going to school, Terry's mother said, Terry, did you sleep with your bedroom light on again? Yes, said Terry. Fear told me that something was lurking in my closet. There's nothing lurking in your closet, said Terry's mother. I want you to stay away from Fear because he is a bad influence. If you keep listening to him, you're always going to be fearful of things. When Terry arrived at school, he noticed two new students in his classroom. Terry wanted to become friends with the new students, but Fear said, Terry, you shouldn't be friends with them because they would not like you. One of the students' name was Boldness. He was very tall, nice, and friendly. The other student's name was Courage. She was nice and friendly also. Boldness and Courage were liked by everyone in the classroom, except Fear. Fear knew boldness and courage because he met them a long time ago at another school. He tried to make them fearful also, but they never listened to him. Fear did not like because Terry became friends with boldness and courage because he knew he wouldn't be able to make Terry fearful anymore. Boldness and courage were good influences, and they would always remind Terry to be bold and to have courage when facing his fears. Terry no longer wanted to be friends with Fear because Fear refused to change his ways. Fear, said Terry, I don't think we should be friends anymore because you're always trying to make me fearful of things. I wish you the best, but you're not a good influence or friend. I have decided to be bold and have courage. Fear was upset because he could no longer cause Terry to be fearful. The next day, when Terry returned to school, Terry noticed that Fear was absent. Where is Fear? said Terry to his teacher, Mr. Johnson. Fear is no longer with us, said Mr. Johnson. He moved to another school. Thanks to Terry's new friends, boldness and courage, Terry never had to worry about how to deal with Fear again. What do you fear? Do you fear making a bad grade in school? Do you fear not making new friends? Do you fear saying no to others? Do you fear being alone? Do you fear going to a new school? Do you fear not making the team? Do you fear talking in front of others? Do you fear making changes? We must teach our children to be bold and to have courage.